Hey, happy Friday, Auburn High School families. This is Jeff Gardner, principal of Auburn High School. It is Friday, September 23rd, and we just finished up our third week of school, and the kids overall are just doing a fantastic job. I just want to let you know that. Uh, doing a great job cleaning up in the commons after the breakfast, after the lunch. Um, most of them are getting to class on time. A few of them can definitely pick up their steps, especially our younger students and our new students who now know their way around the school. Um, tardies are starting to happen and we want to make sure we kind of nip that in the bud. So if you could have an encouraging conversation with your student about getting to school on time, it's really important. Kids that kind of start the school day on time tend to get a better start and don't feel behind when they walk into first period. We as uh, adults know the mornings can be a little bit uh, challenging at times when you're trying to get a lot of kids ready for school. So we understand that. But if we can get kids on time and time for their 8, 10 class, Monday mornings, that'd be 9, 10, unless of course students have zero hour, that'd be very helpful. Um, but we understand that things do happen. But then once the school day gets going, getting from first period to second and then so forth shouldn't be that much of a challenge. So please talk to your students, encourage them to be on time. We know that's a workplace skill being on time. And you know, none of us are trying to make anybody be perfect because we're not perfect ourselves, but it would really help our teachers out greatly if they could start their lessons on time. Our teachers greet the students at the doors. Uh, they wanna give them a friendly welcome every time they walk in, but they do wanna start their lesson on times. Um, we have 1,841 students at Auburn High School. We are definitely um, fully attended in terms of the number of students we have. And then also, uh, just so you know, I have not been able to accept any more um, or approve any waivers of any incoming ninth graders because our, our ninth grade class is so big right now. And we'll continue to monitor that, um, but our school's big. And you know, I, I think we're doing fine though. We've been able to stay with two lunches. Um, we do not wanna break down to three lunches. We've been able to do two. Um, our lines used to last about 10 to 15 minutes. Now our kids do lines up to maybe 10 minutes at the longest, which still gives them about 20 minutes to relax and chill out and talk to their friends or just, you know, today we had mariachi bands in our uh, commons for the last two days. The so kids got to listen to mariachi music if they wanted to, or they could go outside and eat in the commons or, or the courtyards or eat in some of our hallway kind of corner areas that are more quiet areas and also our library. So we have plenty of space here for kids to kind of spread out and eat their lunches. So I think lunches have been going really well and please commend your students on making sure they're keeping their areas clean. They've been doing well with that. And then also the area that I do need your help with is um, again, 1,841 students. We've had 34 office referrals. That's not very many referrals, okay? We wanna keep it all year like that. I wanna report out to you every so often that we don't have very many office referrals. Um, of those, I am concerned though, because of those 34, 38% of them, about 40% of them are students just getting up and walking out of class. Um, that creates a lot of safety issues, okay? Not knowing where the students are during class time, more often than not, there's nobody in the hallways except for maybe campus safety and also our Dean of Students, and we are just worried about the safety of our students. So. Tell your students if it's an emergency situation, they just need to let their teacher know where they're going. It's just about being safe and accountable. So we've had 13 of those occurrences that have been referred to us. And then the other ones are students walking off campus during the school day. We've had 12 of those referred and followed up on. We're pretty sure it's more than that, uh, but we gave the kids like the first four days to kind of get themselves squared away, but we've made it known to them every single day that we are a closed campus. And once they're on campus, they need to stay on campus until the end of the day. Our end of the day is 2.40, but now we're in full swing with our extended day program that runs Monday through Thursdays, and it goes until 4.45. We have two school buses that take kids home at 4.45 from our commons. Uh, they pick them up just in the West bus zone. So our students can do after school homework club, uh, more of our clubs are starting to pop open. I think last year we ended up with close to 40 clubs and now we're probably up to about 12. And as, as the advisors, the adult advisors are coming on board and now they're feeling pretty good about their classes, they can start taking on some of those club responsibilities. But the kids are really asking a lot about clubs and, and if your student 
wants to be in a club, all they have to do is talk to an adult and we'll get them steered in the right direction. Most of the clubs go till about 3.30, some might go till four o'clock and then their job is either to go to homework club in the library and study, or they can come down in our school commons. There's usually someone there. There's always someone there ready to help supervise as an administrator. And that's where they can stay until it's time for the bus to pick them up or their ride to pick them up after school or in the evening. All right, I think that's the status I wanted you to know right now. The kids are doing a great job. Um, athletics are off running and uh, being well attended. And uh, that's been a lot of fun. So anyway, uh, the homework starting, our teachers have worked real hard developing relationships with students and you know, trying to create some great communities in the classroom. And, and what I've seen in my walkthroughs, our students are doing a great job. So let's keep that up, but really impress upon your students, even if they've done nothing wrong, just really reinforce it's important from a safety standpoint that they remain in class until they're dismissed by the teacher or the dismissal bell rings, whatever that teacher sets up. And then just so you know, as parents and family members, we do allow kids to wear their hats and hoods around the school. We allow kids to, you know, be on their cell phones around the school, you know, during passing times, during those common times in the morning and at lunch and after school. But I have a strong belief that every one of our teachers is the captain of their own ship, okay? Um, they get to operate their classrooms the way they see fit because they're the ones delivering the important instruction in there. And some of our teachers have a no cell phone policy. So if you run into that confusion with your student, help them understand that I believe they are sophisticated enough to be able to handle more than one set of rules because our teachers are going to be really clear and explicit about that. And they're going to tell them why. And that's just the way it needs to be. Same with hats, hoods, earbuds. Um, in some classes, some teachers might let the kids, you know, put their earbuds in when they're studying. But when teachers ask students, put the phones away, whether it's an all period thing or at times, we expect students to adhere to that. So that's that. If you ever have any questions, I'm an email away. Feel free to phone call me. And if you ever do want to set up a meeting, I'm more than glad to meet with you. All right. Have a great weekend. Like, again, three weeks into it. Kids are doing a great job. Uh, grades are going to start coming out in about two weeks. So that's where we're really going to need your support. Um, if we see some grades going down, encourage your students to get involved with homework club and, and getting help from their teachers. Okay. Have a great weekend. Thank you.